Hey friends, my name is C e, and you're watching you, Mr. Easy. And welcome back to a new video for A11 for the Bats and today. We have 4.5 for the linear transformation of roots for the rules of the Zabbos video. And we'll get right into some introduction, but before you into it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And let's get right into some introduction. So suppose we transform the roots of a polynomial from this graph right here to this graph right here. We can see that the roots are from minus 2 to 5, and it becomes minus 3 and 4. So using these uh, factors or these roots, we know that the, um, the, the original graph P of S is, is equal to X plus 2 times X minus 5, which expands to get into this one right here. And once we transform it and then shift the graph to the left by 1, we can see that the new graph or the new function has this um, value, which expands onto this, fun this, uh, this equation right here. So this equation and this equation might look unrelated, but they are actually quite connected together because of rules of polynomials. So if the polynomial was in fact form, then the transformation is obvious, as we can just replace each root with one less in the equation. So from here to here. But it's not so obvious how this affects the polynomial in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. Hence, in the linear transformation of roots, we can use two methods to find the new equation in the expanded form by using two methods, either using the relationship between the roots and the coefficients, or we can use substitution, which we'll look into both right now, starting with an example for walkthrough. So if suppose we have a polynomial x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals 0, which has roots alpha and beta. Without finding the roots, determine the equation with roots alpha minus 1 and beta minus 1. So method 1 is to use the relationship between roots and coefficients. So we can use basically the knowledge from roots of polynomials, where we know that using the original polynomial, we can find what a, uh, alpha plus beta is, and it's equal to minus b over a, which is 3 over 1, because it's minus minus 3 over 1, which cancels out the negative, and it's 3. And alpha beta is c over a, which gets us minus 10. And therefore for the new polynomial with roots alpha minus 1 and beta minus 1, the sum of roots is alpha minus 1 plus beta minus 1, which is equal to 3 minus 2, which is equal to 1, which is equal to minus b over a for the new polynomial. And the product of roots is equal to alpha minus 1 times beta minus 1, which expands onto this whole expression right here, which gets us minus 12 equals c of a. And once we have what uh, minus b over a is equal to and what c over a is equal to, we can let a equals 1 because a is a coefficient for the new equation of this form, let's say ax squared plus bx, oops, plus bx plus c. We can let a equals 1 in both expressions, and we can solve for b and c, and therefore we get b equals minus 1 and c equals minus 12, and therefore we can fit them all together to get x squared minus x minus 12 equals 0. A more useful or like helpful way to do it is by using a substitution. So we can let w or any other variable to represent um, to uh, and let it equal to the root where it's equal to x minus 1 because x is the original variable. So in this case, the equation is in terms of x, so the root we can write it as x minus 1. And we can rearrange uh, to get x, which in this case is just x equals w plus 1, right? So here we have the original expression or the equation. We know that x equals w plus 1 for, to get, uh, in order to get the new equation. Therefore, we substitute w plus 1 by x, or like x by w plus 1 in the original equation to get w plus 1 squared minus 3 times w plus 1 minus 10 equals 0. Expand everything out to get this whole expression, and therefore this left us with uh, w squared minus w minus 12, which is what we have over here. And this is effectively function transformations because we know the roots have been translated by 1 to the left. Therefore, if f of x equals x squared minus 3 is minus 10, we know we can find f of x plus 1 to have this effect. So you might wonder why this is useful. So here's a statement by Dr. Frost Math. So why is it useful then? We have an algebraic relationship between the roots of a polynomial and its coefficients. This is useful, for example, if there is an incomplete information for one on both of these. For example, if one of the roots was missing, we could find it by adding the other roots and subtracting them from minus b over a. And similarly, if there was some unknown coefficient, we could uh, reason about using knowledge of the roots. 
uh, therefore consider the topic as adding to your algebraic toolkit, and in this case, reasoning about polynomials, even if the application isn't immediately, immediately obvious. So here we have an example for the linear transformation of roots. So the cubic equation s cubed minus 2x squared plus 3x minus 4 has roots alpha, beta, and gamma. Find the equations of the polynomial with roots 2, 2 alpha, 2 beta, and 2 gamma. So we can set our new variable as w. So it will be w equals 2x because the x comes from the roots, which is right here. Right? So we can now rearrange for x, which is equal to x equals w over 2. So we basically have to substitute s equals w over 2 in this equation right here. So let's just rewrite it out. x cubed minus 2x squared plus 3x minus 4 equals 0. Substitute x by w over 2, it will be, be, oops, it will be w over 2 cubed minus 2 times w over 2 squared plus 3 times w over 2 minus 4 equals 0. Expand everything out to get w cubed over 8 minus um, w over w squared over 2 because it will be basically minus 2 times 1 over 4 which simplifies to minus 1 over 2 plus 3w over 2 minus 4 equals 0 and we can therefore times all the terms by 8 to get rid of the denominator so it will be w cubed w cubed minus 4w squared because it times this by 8 which is basically equal to 8 over 2 which is equal to 4 and plus um, 12w minus 32 equals 0. And that is the new equation for the polynomials with roots 2 alpha, 2 beta, and 2 gamma. And moving on to the last question, we have the quarter equation s to the power 4 minus 3x cubed plus 15x plus 1 has roots alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. Find the equation with roots 2 alpha plus 1, 2 beta plus 1, 2 gamma plus 1 and 2 delta plus 1. So we know that this whole, uh, we know that we can set a new variable w equals 2x plus 1, where x is basically like the roots. Rearrange to get x as a subject, so therefore x equals w minus 1 over 2, like so, right? So therefore we can substitute x by w minus 1 over 2 in all these values here. So let's write the original expression x to the power 4. My, uh, minus 3x cubed plus 15x plus 1 equals 0. Substitute it to get w minus 1 over 2 to the power of 4. Uh, minus 3 times w minus 1 over 2 to the power of 3 plus 15 times w minus 1 over 2 plus 1 equals 0. And I will first just expand the denominator to get w minus 1. Oops. To get w minus 1 to the power of 4 over 16 minus 3 times w minus 1 to the power of 3 over 8 plus 15 times w minus 1 over 2 plus 1 equals 0 like so, right? So I will now just times all the terms by 16 to get rid of the, the, the denominator so I'll wrap the top out here so therefore this gets us w minus 1 to the power of 4 because we times everything by 16 Minus uh, 16 over 8 is 2, and 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. So it'll be minus 6 times w minus 1 cubed plus, um, let's see, it'll be 120 because 16 divided by 2 is 8, and 8 times 15 is 120 times w minus 1 plus 16 equals 0. We will now just have to expand the brackets, which I'll do it right here, which I'll uh, wrap this up like so. So expanding w minus 1 to the power 4, we can expand it normally or we can just use the binomial theorem. It will be w to the power 4 minus 4w cubed plus 6w squared minus 4w plus 1 minus 6 times the whole expansion of w minus 1 cubed which is w cubed minus 3w squared plus w 3w minus 1 and plus 120w minus 120 plus 16 equals 0 
and therefore this simplifies us to get uh, to get w to power 4 minus 4w cubed plus 6w squared minus 4w plus 1 minus 6w cubed plus um, 18w squared minus uh, 18w plus 6 plus the whole thing at the back and I'll rub this out to make it to make it cleaner and if you were to, if you were to simplify it you will get a final expression of w to the power 4 minus 10 w cubed plus w cubed plus 24 w squared my uh, plus 98 w minus 97 minus 97 and that's the final answer and that's it for this video for 4.5 for the linear transformation of roots for the rules and examples video and I hope you'll find it useful and helpful and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't new future videos and if you have any questions regarding my channel or my youtube or my instagram you can leave them down below and I'll reply to them and check my social media in the description for example LinkedIn or youtube or instagram and if you need any learning resources or any teaching resources you can check my website in the description or you can put it on your browser at www.emailseeasy.com And I hope you all find it useful and helpful and I'll see you all in the next video which will be 4.5 for the linear transformation of roots for the questions video which will be fun and interesting But anyways that's it for this video and I'll see you all in the next video Until then, stay safe and happy learning